Hello, welcome to a H3 VR tutorial. Today, we are going to be going over how you can fire the flintlock pistol. This will be a quick, easy, and reliable tutorial, as I doubt they will change anything on how to fire. <coughs> so, there are two ways you can load it. Either using a paper cartridge, or using a gunpowder flask, and a 69 caliber ball. I don't know what this is doing, but... We'll use it as an example. To begin, click right on your right controller to open it to half. We then take our spinning bullet and our cartridge, hold down trigger, bring it up to our mouth to open it up. And then, with this, we pour a little bit in, but not too much, to waste all gunpowder. It doesn't have to be a lot, just has to be enough. Which is, well, that amount. If you can even see it. Anyway, we just close it by just slamming it. And then we can pour the rest of the gunpowder into here. Put the cartridge in there. And then pull out the stick. Then, we just jam it down there. And you want to wait and keep jamming it down until you hear that low pitch sound. And then, put it back in there. And then the final part is to put it back to full by just clicking back on your analog joystick and then bada bing bada boom you have shot your butt to fire it using the gunpowder sash and the ball you wanna get your gunpowder open it to half and then pour as much as you like as as far as I'm aware this is an infinite supply of gunpowder so you can pour some gunpowder into there Get a 69 cal, just stuff it down there, ding 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 ding, we got a bullet in there, click it back using the joystick all the way, and boom. One thing to note, is that you don't want to put too much gunpowder in your barrel. For instance, I'm going to be putting way too much gunpowder, that would be way too much. For demonstration purposes, I shall show you why you want to put in a safe amount. So, this is what happens when you shoot a ball with too much gunpowder. That happens. Your gun will just fly back. So, you don't want to do it. Missed that. So yeah, you don't want to put too much in. So basically, that's it. It works the exact same for the brown best. But now I will show you where you can find this, if you're still clueless. To find the flintlock, simply go to pistol, muzzle loading, and you can go to the heavy flintlock. And if you want to get the brown best, go to rifle and muzzle loading. And you shall find it right here. Just want to heard a mention? It is exactly the same loading mechanism with this. So, what you want to do? So I'll quickly demonstrate it, and not, not take too much of your time. So, to load it, remember, half, put some gunpowder in here, close it, and then put gunpowder in here, as well as a bowl. And then you want to take out this really long pole from under here, and then jab it all the way down there. Put it back in here. And of course, back full, and then fire. Bullseye! Well, that's how you shoot the flintlock and the brown bass in H3PR. Now, I don't want to say one thing. I'm sorry for the poor mic quality in the last video. Won't happen again. I just adjusted some things this time. Now, that's all. Take care, and bye-bye.